Hey guys, welcome to part one of a special series I'm going to be doing of Awesome Build, where I focus on the props and some of the set pieces that I built for the Nostalgia Critic Mad Max Fury Road review. Uh, to date, the Mad Max review that we did was the largest amount of props, costumes, and set pieces that we've had to build for a single review. It was a ton of work, but it was also a lot of fun. I was probably going to build a lot of the props that we used anyway. <laughs> um, so it was, uh, it was a cool excuse and a good exercise for me to um, delve into and, and build those props. And fortunately, we also had more time on that particular review to focus on building some of the, the props and the costumes and stuff. So in this first episode, I'm going to be focusing on the first prop that I built for that review, which for me kind of set the tone how I wanted to build the props and stuff. Um, it was a prop that I've been wanting to build for a long time, even before the movie came out and stuff, so it just gave me an excuse to kind of delve right into it. And that prop is Mad Max's shotgun. This prop was primarily used by Tamara, who was playing Furiosa during the review. Yeah, so I've compiled some of the behind the scenes footage of some of the elements I used in the process uh, that I put it together. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first installment. So I started with a piece of conduit that I cut into two 12-inch lengths. As you can see there, I think I used three-quarter inch. And then I've got two pieces of square tubing. Um, one's brass, one's aluminum. Uh, it's basically just what I had, so. Uh, I used the smaller piece to create uh, a spacer between the two pieces of conduit and I glued it using JB Weld, or I think I used JB Quick, uh, which just activates a little faster, but it's a really good adhesive for um, adhering metals. So this is the two pieces combined. and. Then once uh, that was cured, I added a piece of epoxy putty, a little uh, plumber's epoxy putty, and set the larger square tubing on top of that to kind of get it to where I wanted it, make sure it was flat and it was even all the way across. Uh, so that then I could fill in that gap between the square tubing and the conduit with more JB Weld. Uh, it's a two-part um, epoxy that you can you, know, you mix up, you lay it in, pour it in, brush it in, however you want. Um, and then you've got some time, you can kind of smooth it out, which is what I did there. And you can kind of see there's some bubbles and stuff. I think I had to do one or two or uh, two or three coats or whatever to kind of would settle in, and then I would put another thin bead, kind of uh, smooth it out. But uh, yeah, then once that cures, uh, I cut out the the handle and all like the wood pieces, um, the hand, the handle itself, and then the forward grip and uh, cut it out of a piece of 2x4 and just sanded the hell out of it. <laughs> so, and then the brake mechanism, the hinge piece, uh, I just took a piece of scrap aluminum that I had of uh, aluminum flat bar and uh, a metal spacer that I had that was about the right size that I was looking for. I had a few different ones and I shot a screw through it into the spacer and um, held it there with epoxy putty and that's basically what you see there and then I covered the screw head with the epoxy putty so it wouldn't shift around or loosen or anything and the, the, that notch in there, that groove, really serves no purpose it was just a scrap piece so um, but you're never gonna see it so it didn't really matter to me I then um, decided how I wanted to use like the body of the gun I uh, once I got the, the shape that I was looking for I traced it onto the the wood and then I cut it into I cut three identical or two identical pieces and 
a centerpiece as you can see here then the centerpiece is the one that's got uh, sort of rounded out notch kind of there and I pre-drilled all my holes so I knew that they would line up correctly got my holes there that's gonna drill into the handle and then that's the centerpiece and that's where my locking pin is going to slide through and you can see it's kind of effed up I didn't do a very good job there so yeah here I'm just uh, assembling the pieces kind of see how they all go and where that um, spacer is going to fit there so to create sort of the hinge the brake so there's my finished handle after a lot of sanding <laughs> and I drilled a hole and created a notch in the top there and that's where my pin is going to go uh, for the locking mechanism and that's my pin which is just a sliding bolt for like a sliding latch or sliding lock and I just modified it by cutting it down and then adding uh, some plumber's epoxy putty for that little kind of like thumb uh, and there and then here I'm just uh, screwing together the body of the gun as you can see and then I have to cut off the end pieces but kind of just testing it out I wanted to put all the pieces together and make sure that everything fit um, before just in case I had to rebuild anything or anything like that so there's the spring and that's going to go inside the handle like that behind the pin and then the pin slides in like that and that's going to be my, my locking mechanism lock and release for the, the brake of the gun that slides through the hole there and then screw it into the handle and then this is the barrel where I have now added the um, some screws for the forward grip and there's my brake mechanism so I used the JB weld and glued that piece of aluminum to the conduit and then yeah my spacer there is going to fit into the body of the gun yeah, I put some epoxy putty for those screws, but it wasn't really strong enough, so I also had to add some JB Quick. And there's the you know, forward grip that I sanded out of the same 2x4, I think, that I sanded the handle out of. And again, it was a, a lot of sanding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pre drilled my holes, screwed in. I kind of designed the whole thing so that. Um, I could break it apart like a real gun. I could take all the elements apart in case something broke and I could replace just that one part instead of having to scrap it or rebuild the whole thing. Um, so this is me kind of testing out the brake mechanism. Make sure it's going to work before I cut the screws down and paint everything up. But yeah, that's kind of how it, that's how it swivels does lock in pretty good so we're good to go so at this point now I'm gonna attach the forward grip and that piece that I added there is gonna fit around the curve of the body of the gun so that when it breaks it doesn't swing like all the way down it kind of swings down and stops uh, very much like a real shotgun and my screws screwed to the body and then I then I added a trigger guard using a piece of aluminum that I bent into a trigger guard and then the triggers are just they don't activate or anything or there's no springs I just pieces of plastic that I cut into triggers and drill the hole uh, and put a pin through it. So they're basically just there. They kind of move, but they don't really do anything. 
and that's pretty much the finished elements before painting. All right, so I've been working on this project a little bit here, a little bit there for the past few weeks as I've been working on other projects and stuff. So what I've come up with is this. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna add some things to it. If I need to, I can kind of repair it. Uh, but I need it actually for a project that I'm working on currently. Yeah, so this is it. It's pretty much done. Uh, some of the, probably the thing that I'm most disappointed with is the brake mechanism. Uh, I wanted to do it more like the, uh, the real thing where you kind of flip it to the side and there's a catch underneath that'll uh, break the, the barrel. But uh, unfortunately, that was gonna take a little more time and because I constructed the housing out of wood, it was kind of brittle. So when I started to construct it, one of the pieces already cracked. So I just scrapped it, I rebuilt the center piece, and then I just put the pin in with the spring. Uh, so you could just pull it back and snap it shut like that. And then I've got these uh, toy shotgun shells that came with uh, a toy shotgun. <laughs> and they fit actually perfectly into the barrel. And then you can still close it and you've got your uh, cool loading and unloading kind of process. Also, I just sculpted these pieces um, for the back of the, the barrel that holds the shell. That's just sculpted out of uh, plumber's epoxy putty. And yeah, once I paint it all the same color and stuff, it should blend in pretty well. But that's it. So. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll paint it up, and then by the end of the day, hopefully, we'll have a pretty cool looking Mad Max prop shotgun. So. So after a quick paint job, we're pretty much all done. It came out pretty decently. Looks like the Bad Max's is shotgun, you know, enough to where uh, if you wanted to make one for a cosplay or if you just want to display it on your wall next to your Mad Max DVDs or something, I might think it would probably be a pretty cool showpiece. Um, you wouldn't have to go into as much detail as far as the working mechanism if you wanted. You could just... Uh, display it you wouldn't have to make the brake mechanism or anything like that um, so but for the paint job I used two different colored uh, brown paints I used Krylon Color Master this was uh, brown boots satin and I used uh, red oxide and the two of them kind of combined make a pretty decent looking worn wood Kind of texture. I first I did the the light coat. Usually I do it darker and I work lighter. This time I actually did the lighter brown over the whole thing, and then I just touched up the edges with the red oxide to kind of uh, mirror the effect that when you're you know when you're handling uh, a gun that's been stained or wood or whatever then the oils in your hands are going to wear away the finish on the gun. So you're gonna have a lighter kind of finish on like the handle or the, the places where like your hands are going. The barrel I primed in black 
and then all these pieces are just black primer. And then I went over it again with gunmetal gray. So this is only the first uh, episode in this series. I'm gonna have a bunch and they're all for mainly one production. I've been wanting to build this for a long time. Uh, this just sort of gave me the excuse and it was a nice kind of uh, starting point for now moving forward and doing a bunch of props for the Mad Max review. So, so thanks a lot. <laughs>